Hey, David Bridge here, Virtual Communications. Here's what I'm going to cover today for you so you can get a little bit better understanding from a technical standpoint what the difference is between a PBX and an IP PBX telephone systems for business. What this really stands for is a private branch exchange and what IP PBX stands for is Internet protocol private branch exchange here's the difference <clears throat> both are going to have units a uh, control unit um, where a traditional PBX is going to have the phone lines come in typically you could actually have a what what they know are known as a PRI, a T1, stuff like that. They could be just regular telephone lines, but they're going to go directly to the PBX. And then from there to your desk telephones, cordless phones, or, or whatever. It's going to be in a phone closet. It's going to be mounted on the wall typically. And this is all... A lot of times, this this wiring can be CAT3 wiring. Um, these days, it's probably, if it's new wiring, it's going to be CAT5 or, or, or more or better wiring. Now, the difference between this, and, and then and I'll give you, I'll throw another term out, you, term out at you. It's going to be based on TDM signaling, time digital multiplex signaling. All right, what does that mean? You know what, big deal. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's it's a digital signaling. That's, I'm just gonna keep it simple here for you. Now, on the other side, um, where you're talking about an internet protocol PBX, this is gonna be, the, the lines could are gonna be the same unless you're using uh, SIP trunks, which are gonna be uh, that's another subject. I'll cover that on a, on a different video. And I probably already have, actually. But let's just say you're using the same telephone service. Your PBX now is an IP PBX. It's going to be attached to your server. And then your telephone sets are going to be on your network, on the LAN. And then you're actually your computers are going to be connected through your phones if they're hardwired. Because what this is going to end up doing is this voice traffic is internet protocol traffic or VOIP traffic. That's where the VOIP comes in. And there's another way of um, talking about VOIP, but again, it's another video. But for the sake of this, um, your IP PBX is going to be on the LAN. It's going to give it an IP address 192.168.1. Whatever, you know, 150, say. And then all of these are going to have IP addresses 151, 52, so forth and so on. And then your computers. And those are going to have IP addresses too. So this is all going to reside on the land. There's actually hybrids. Getting off the subject a little bit where you have both. It's tied into the server. And then you can also have SIP cards that are digital. And you can still have digital phones and you can have IP phones and all that kind of stuff. But that's really what the difference between an IP PBX and a PBX is. Um, really when it comes down to the user. It's all the same. You're still going to be talking on the phone. It's just a matter of what signaling and how the calls are transferred out to you and to the PSTN, Public Switch Telephone Network. So, <laughs> please leave some comments, leave some questions. I'm David Bridge, Virtual Communications. Hopefully this helps and uh, we'll see you next time on the next video.